In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the smoothest rotoscope transitions that I know. The best part is this can be used in any music video. It's pretty easy to do, and I'm gonna show you all the secret sauce. But before we get into the video, I just wanna let you know that my new After Effects plugin, Shake Sauce 2, is out now. It's by far the best Shake plugin in all of After Effects. I'll have it linked down in the description alongside a seven day free trial. That way you can try it out 100% risk free. But that's enough talking. Drop a like on the video, and let's get into After Effects. So here in After Effects, these are the two clips I wanna transition between, and luckily enough, you can do this transition pretty much with any clip, any footage, and I'll show you how. All you have to do is do a simple rotoscope. So we want this clip to transition to this clip here, and I wanna time it where it kind of like zooms through like over here, right when this firework explodes, because I think that would look pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click on this layer, go to the rotoscope tool, and rotoscope out K-Suave here. Rotoscope looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze it. And then I'm gonna duplicate the layer by clicking Control D and then deleting the rotoscope effect from the bottom of the two layers. Now I'm gonna add a marker where I kinda of want the transition to stop. So right about there, I'm gonna press Star on my keyboard to add a marker. And then we're gonna have it overlap here because we're gonna be zooming through back here. And I'll show you how I do that in just a second. So starting off, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-compose both of these layers and then go into the composition. For right now, I'm gonna turn off the background layer and then go back into the main comp. Now you can see we have our subject masked out just playing over the clip and I'm gonna go and open the transform settings. So I'm gonna keyframe the position, scale, and the opacity for right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and scale it up. We want it to zoom past his top left shoulder here. So I'm gonna move him off to the side and scale him up like this because we want the first frame to kind of like he to kind of come in and then we need the transition to end right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset both of these. So now we have this kind of zoom like transition and now I'm gonna go back into the composition layer. Right here, this is where we know we need the background to come back in. So we're gonna go ahead and go to this bottom background layer and keyframe the opacity to 100 here and then at the beginning go to zero. So now the background is gonna slowly fade in like that. And if we go back here, you can see how it kind of starts to make this transition. It's already looking pretty smooth. It's a pretty like timeless, subtle transition. We're gonna go ahead and make sure we turn on motion blur. And now it's really starting to come together. And there's a handful of effects I'm gonna go ahead and apply now to just blend everything together to make it more smooth of a transition. So the first thing I'm gonna add on is an effect like Gaussian blur. And I'm gonna add this onto the overall pre-comp and bring up the blur so when he first comes in the frame, it almost looks like it's out of focus. And then as the transition happens more and more, I'm actually gonna bring it down. That way it starts off blurred and kind of fades in. And I'm actually going to click Control X and cut that and then just apply that to the rotoscope layer. That way it doesn't apply over the whole entire composition. And the one thing I noticed, the motion blur is a little intense here. If you go up to composition settings and then advanced, your shutter angle by default should probably say 180. Mine said 260 and it was a little bit much, but I'm, I think I'm actually gonna bring it down even a little bit more just so it's not as intense of some motion blur. So now it's looking just a little smoother in my opinion, a little less motion blur. And just as we have this come into focus, I'm gonna have this background come out of focus. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag on the Gaussian blur effect. And as it's kind of zooming out like this, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the blur. So the background starts to blur. And then we can go ahead and easy ease all of these keyframes. And now you can see how it's starting to come together. One thing I'm gonna do inside of the pre-comp layer is go ahead and make the opacity come in a little bit later and then also easy ease that. That way the background doesn't come into frame till later. And I think that will just kind of smooth it out as well. And then it just takes a little bit of playing with the Gaussian blur here as well. You don't want the background to go out of focus too early. So maybe just making this a little bit more subtle will help it. And you can continue to blend these effects. I'm gonna keyframe the opacity to start off around like 25 or something like that. That way it kind of fades in here too. And it'll just make it a little bit smoother even. That way it doesn't have like this like super harsh cut here, so. Go ahead and just fade that in over time. And then to blend the transition here, I'm gonna go ahead and add a preset from Shake Sauce. I think this Twitch preset would look pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it right where the last frame is where it kind of blends. And I really like the way that looks. It's just a little too intense for the transition because it's such a smooth transition. You don't want it to be like super crazy all over the place. So let's go ahead and crank down these numbers quite a bit and just go ahead and change a lot of these here. Two, 
two. And that looks really good with the firework here. You can see how that kind of sells the transition a lot. It kind of feels like he's like falling into place. And I think that's why adding shake to your video is just essential. That's why I built shake sauce too, honestly, is just because of how much of a difference it can make in the transition. You can see this is the transition without it, clean. And then this is the transition with it infinitely better but that's pretty much the effect like i said if you guys want to check out shake sauce 2 i'll have it linked down in the description alongside that seven day free trial that way you can try it out 100 risk free if you haven't already go ahead and drop a like on the video and if you're not already subscribed be sure to do that i upload videos like this all the time but that's pretty much all i got for you guys in this one peace